Hello. That's my vague attempt at being sexy at 9.24 in the morning. To be fair, though, it is the same as my vague attempt to be sexy at any time of the day, so the, the time isn't entirely relevant. Uh, good morning. How are things with you guys? Hope things are good. Um, I wanted to mention a few things today. So I like the idea of doing videos, so I have got a quick tip about faking it in a moment. Um, you can insert your own joke there, but I only mean about faking it with the humour. So we'll get to that in a second. So a few things I'm working on at the moment. I spent all day yes, not all day yesterday. I spent all day yesterday coming up with this, which is a opt-in. Now t I know most people watching this will go, "That's a piece of piss." I could do that while you know juggling knives with one hand and riding a unicycle. But for me, this is this is um, a big step. So my idea for this is I'm going to do expand the funny business posts um, because it's all about the email apparently and I need to be better at email. Um, in the group I posted the email I sent yesterday uh, to old clients and I got some really good responses from that. I need to spend more time doing that kind of thing. Uh, in order to do that I need a list and in order to get a list I need to post pictures of lions and big red buttons. So. That's what I'm doing at the moment. So uh, my plan is to kind of take the funny business posts that are in the group, expand them with a bit more examples, uh, make them a bit more comprehensive, and then do them via a series of email, adding a few more bits here and there. And then people can sign up and go, my, that man brings value. They they may choose a different, different accent, but I'm hoping they'll say exactly that. So that's what I'm working on. Also, about to post this in the group, this bodacious backstory, which is a terrible name for it, but um, the idea of helping people with backstories. And this is something John Buchan came up with. He said, if you're looking for something to offer to people, because let's be honest, that's what we're in this business of. What can I do for people? He said, create an interesting backstory. And like a lot of the humour stuff, it's not a, a one-use thing. It's not like, you know, you buy a cleaning cloth that can clean mirrors and that's it. Okay, if you create a good story, a good backstory, a good origin story, you can use that in presentations, you can put it on your website, you can use it in your bio for social media. You know, if you've got a 60 second pitch at a social, at a, at a kind of networking group, you can use it for that. So, like a lot of the funny business stuff, it, it's not about just coming up with a one time, one shot, one pump gag it's about coming up with something that you've always got in your holster. There's some weird metaphors going on there. But anyway, that's that's the idea. So the backstory thing will be out today. I'll mention that in a moment. Um, and also, I was going to use this video to do my magic stuff, which is uh, my magic blog and images and things like that, and talk about what I'm doing. So today's is, is really easy because I've been following, um, oh my God, I've made a lot of images. Dear God, they look exactly the same. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. I just go with the photo in the middle, bit of a barrier top and bottom, and uh, put the title in. Um, yes, so I've been, uh, today's is gonna be really easy because, I'll show you why in a second, but, I've been following Shauna Beckman a lot, and I'll put a link to Shauna's, she's in the group, and she's also got her own group called the Ass Exchange, um, which isn't about exchanging body parts, although that would make for a, you know, you just know there's a Facebook group for that, don't you? You just know. Um, so Shauna's got this group called the Ass Exchange, and a part of her program, she helps people with sales. People like me who are terrible at sales, creative people who, you know when somebody comes up to you and goes, oh, I really like your photos, they're awesome, how much... Could you take a photo of me and my family? How much would that be? And you go, well, it's normally about five. Well, well you know, four. Well, you know, I've been offering it for three. You know what? Just sleep with my wife. I'll do the photos for free. I'll do your shopping. I'll cook your meals for a year. And before you know it, you've you've given them everything for nothing. You just can't sell. So Shauna helps people with problems like that. I'll put a link to a group in the first comment. Um, but yes, so one of Sean's ideas was to go into a group and ask people what their worries are, or ask a question. Get Go to where your ideal, ideal clients are, ask them a question, and um, see what they respond, and use that as, as information. Get to know your ideal clients. And I posted in a wedding group about what your worries about the wedding day. And I'm trying to find this, and oh, there it is, perfect. So I posted in a wedding group about uh, what are your worries about the wedding day for brides? 
and I was thinking like all stress of uh, you know getting people at the same place, everything going well, blah blah blah. Um, but a lot of them came back with about five or six came back with I'm really worried about my family fighting and arguing, and I didn't expect that at all. And I I remember doing this image. Uh, I, I did this image ages ago, and. I exaggerate the problem. Now, obviously, when people say they're worried about the uh, guests and family fighting, they're not talking about this level of fighting, I hope. I hope. Uh, but it immediately made me think of this image. So I've already got the image. So I want to do a blog post or, or some information about how wedding magicians can stop people fighting. And I'm trying to come up with a decent angle for that. I've not written it down yet, but here's the angle I have. It's going to be like the word puzzle as a kid. You know when you went from four letter word to four letter word and you'd have like a ladder so you'd have to go from like lane to pole and you could only change one letter at a time so you go from lane to loan to pone you know that kind of thing i thought a blog post could be really uh, not even funny about this but just really simple like why do people fight they fight because they're thinking too much about bad things why are they thinking about too much bad things, because they're thinking too much. Why are they thinking too much? Because they're bored. Why are they bored? Because they haven't got anything to do on your wedding day. Why haven't they got anything to do on your wedding day? Because you were selfish and didn't book a magician. It's going to be a lot more briefer than that, but that's going to be the, the plot of the blog post. And there's other thing as well. If you don't want people to be bored and distracted at your wedding day, or if you want pe to distract people from feeling anger and seething rage at your wedding day, book somebody who does sleight of hand for a living. You know, if you want a master of distraction, go for a magician. It's got to be the way. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to I'm going to change this a little bit. I may edit the words, though I like the word Lionel. Um, I'm going to change this up and do that blog post today. So that's what I'm doing. But the, the tip I want to give you, and it was worth sticking for, is the faking it bit. Now, normally, when you fake humour or fake anything, it seems a really bad thing. You know, fake it till you make it. Um, there's nothing wrong with not being an expert in anything, first off, so that's fine. But if you're going to fake it with humour, a lot of people wait to have a comedy voice. They say, I'm not a funny kind of person, I can't write jokes, I've never done it before. Well, firstly, you have, you've made jokes, we've gone through this before, you can be funny... You might not think you're the most hilarious person in the world, and you might not be the most hilarious person in the world, um, but you you do have a sense of humour. So here's the thing with faking it. Here's the biggest tip I can give you, right? If you don't have your own comedic voice, and that's fine, if you've not looked into this or tried it or experimented with comedy, how would you have your own voice? If you've not got your own comedic voice, borrow one. And I mentioned this in the video I did the other day. One thing I'm trying to do in blog posts is expand a bit on points and do act outs and a really good example of this is i don't know if you've seen it john oliver on last week tonight he will take a point and then go oh you do do you excellent oh why don't you just come around to my house kill my wife and children burn the house to the ground and then you know he'll just go off on one he'll make the serious point and then act out something so here's the thing with faking it if you can't imagine how you would do it imagine how somebody else would do it Imagine your favourite comedian. What would they do with this thing that you're looking at right now? You know, if we're looking at fighting wedding guests, how would Jerry Seinfeld do, deal with this? How would Joe Rogan deal with this? How would Jay Leno deal with this? David Letterman, name your favourite comedian. How would they do it? Just step into them for a second, get a different viewpoint, because that's all comedy is. It's, it's looking at something from a different angle. Comedy is looking at two separate elements, putting them together and making them unique. So one of those can be any voice. It doesn't have to be your voice. You don't have to be unique, creative, or a, a shining new beacon of light in the world of comedy. You just have to have a voice, a voice. And if you're scared about putting your own slant on things, imagine what somebody else would do. So this is another reason why it's great to watch comedy and, you know, basically not even comedians, but people who've got a particular point of view and uh, take that in, really listen to how they're doing it. And it, like I say, if you're afraid of using your own comedic voice, imagine how somebody else would do it. So at this point, you know, I've got this, this, this image here of wedding magicians. Um, I could change the text about that, or I could have a different thing about, 
I could have boxing or UFC. I could have a fight in action. Or I could have, if I like the words, because I, I tend to like using speech bubbles and stuff like that, I could have the picture of a, a UFC fighter's bloodied face after losing a match and then talk about weddings. Like, yeah, it was great when I did the vows or, you know. So if you're really struggling to find a comedic voice but you want to put something into it, have a play around. How, how would blah, blah, blah do this? How would my favourite comedian do this? doesn't even have to be a comedian. How would Sam Harris do this? How would Stephen Fry do this? How would that guy I saw on TV do this? How would that Jeremy Carl show guest do this? Anything. Just fake it. Don't worry about getting it right or wrong. Just, just have a go at um, putting somebody else's comedic voice to something and see what you come up with and you'll learn. You can post it, you can try it, and uh, just see how it goes. So, that's all I wanted to say today. Don't worry about faking it. If you're struggling with the comedic voice, do it. Go nuts. Check out Shauna's group, The Ass Exchange. I'll put a link below. And I'm going to go right up this blog post. I will be posting later about this bodacious backstory. Um, I need to work on this a bit more. Uh, but I'll be posting about that later today. So, if you want help with the backstory origin story post on this as well and um, I can give you a hand because I want to do it for free for people in the group and if it's something that has value then I can charge for it if not then at least I've just helped people in the group so yeah have a good day um, don't eat too many chips and be nice to old people <laughs>